Welcome to Extinction Rebellion New York City live stream. We're right here in Columbus Circle. And as you see, we're just about to begin the event where we're celebrating the results. As we have a ton of people here gathered to celebrate what just happened, to see what democracy looks like in this country. This is Daniel Graxson. I'm here with Extinction Rebellion. I'm here to host and to guide you today to what's going on. This was supposed to be a march to protect our boat, but now the messages have changed a bit. As there is still so much more work to be done to protect the result and to get our country moving the right direction, towards the right direction. But today, we celebrate. Today, we're here together as this energy of all of these people just overwhelm us. You can see the happiness and the energy of everybody around. Let's get you down there. If you are just joining us, we're in the Extinction Rebellion New York City live stream, right here celebrating the results as we all come together, different movements, organizations, and just people around New York City to celebrate what just happened. As I just said, four years of the current administration will be catastrophic for our planet, for our people, for everything. So right here, we're uniting in Columbus Circle. We're the, the event should commence momentarily, where uh, we're gonna have some speakers and then we're gonna have a march through the city, celebration, in celebration. Uh, as you said, we've changed the message a bit since uh, yesterday, since it was protecting the, protect the, the, the boat. And just the thing to know is that there is still so much work to be done to protect the results and to get our country moving in the right direction. But today we celebrate, today we gather, and today we're just here in New York City together. Showing what democracy looks like. Yeah. Once again, you can join us at any time. We're right here currently in Columbus Circle. And as we keep going, I will be telling you exactly towards what direction we're going, towards what direction the, the, the march is going to be going, so that you can join us at any time. The energy here is just amazing. Celebration of all sorts. And all sorts of coalitions are here, all sorts of movements, all sorts of organizations, including, of course, Extinction Rebellion New York City. continues here and it starts the event. We're gonna have some, uh, as I said, we're gonna have some speakers soon in the podium and then we're gonna have a march. We're right here in Columbus Circle as we begin this celebration for the results. See, there are different movements, organizations, coalitions of all around New York City celebrating this moment.
As we were watching the news this morning and they finally projected the winner. People in New York City just went wild, went into the streets and started celebrating everywhere in New York City. Whether it's Brooklyn, Manhattan. In this march, which used, was supposed to be a protected vote march, has just been transformed into a celebration march towards the results that we have. The people of the United States have spoken and they said that they're voting for climate justice, they're voting for racial justice, they're voting because we want a future and that we cannot stand another four years of the current administration. Once again, we're here in Columbus Circle as we celebrate the results. As we, as Americans, as New Yorkers, come and celebrate that we have said no more fascism. No more lies, no more injustices. No more indecency in the White House. I mean, come on. This was more about, in the Democrat and Republican, it was more about voting for a decent human being that wanted us to be good, that was thinking just about himself and how he looks in camera, whether he said, whether he's a loser or a winner, any of these different things. People voted for climate justice, for racial justice, and for our future. That's what we're celebrating here today. Donald Trump, you're fired. That's why they're screaming. Trump, you're fired. Donald Trump, you're fired. You're seeing historic images right now, people celebrating the results. New York City. I know that we will win. I know that we will win. That's what they're chanting. So you see people from all ages, movements, organizations, are gathering here to celebrate these results. So the people who have tried to divide us for at least the last four years just shut up for one second and give us some time to celebrate that the tyrant, fascist, Nazi is out of here! And I do want to take a second, because I've been honest, the Biden-Harris ticket was not my first, second, third, or fourth choice. But I want to lift up Kamala Harris for what she means to women, for what she means to South Asian women, for what she means to black women in this country. Black women! Black women! I thank all the black women in this country for helping us to get here. Now, we got work to do, y'all. We're going to celebrate for maybe tonight, but tomorrow, we got to make sure this dude's new dude don't do nothing crazy either. All we wanted to do was stop the bleeding. That don't mean there's a lot, not a lot of pain and hurt still going on. And I'm not convinced that Biden is going to do all the things that we want him to do if we don't stay in these streets. Yeah. And the Democratic Party, you got to look at yourselves really good. Because you took a risk there and it almost cost us big. You sent the same message, or the same messenger, and we almost lost. But we didn't, so I'm proud about that. And I want to be clear. 70 million Americans 
looked at the past four years and said, I want more of that. 70 million Americans. I don't do it for a boo because whether we like it or not, they are here. And we have to find a way to understand whatever it is they're going through. I'm not talking about the straight bigot Nazi fly. I, I like, I'm talking about there are some people there that thought that racism and Nazism was not enough for them to vote against it. But there's a pain there that we can connect to. Because nobody's talking to these folks. We have to be able to show what a farmer in New York has connected to a black trans woman in New York. If we can make that connection, we're going to be all right. America has always been bigoted and racist. It has always been Islamophobic, transphobic, homophobic. It has always had those things. It is American as apple pie. And we saw that as 70 million people voted. But you know what else has always been American? The 75 motherfucking million people. will make this country live up to what it says. I am a part of that America. That America that said no to slavery. That America that said no to internment camps. That America that said we will give the LGBT their rights. That America that stood up and said no more to an orange tyrant who now has to leave the White House a big crying baby who lost the sleeping day. I gotta tell you though, it should not have been this hard. It should not have been this hard to get somebody out whose bigotry was only matched by his incompetence. And Democrats here in New York City, I'm about to make it hot. We have a governor who was a Democrat who was credibly being said that he helped Republicans in the state Senate. That's a Democrat here. We have a mayor who's a Democrat who refuses to provide the leadership that this city needs right now. Those are Democrats. Those are not Republicans. We will hold everybody accountable until everybody is free. Until there's equity and justice in this land. The better, the better America will always be fair because the moral arc of the universe is long, but it bends toward justice. So grab it. The Sam DeBellish, New York Police Department, Democratic Socialists of America, RefuseFascism.org, as people are beginning to mobilize into the streets. People of New York City celebrating the results. Right there, we're coming with the Trump pens out. Trump and pens out now. RefuseFascism.org. Fight for mass socialist party. Well. No, it just gets to me that every time somebody says social, something socialist, people think it's a bad thing. I mean, we're talking about the socialism that is in other countries like Denmark and Sweden, and that some of the happiest in countries in the world have. We're not talking about Venezuela, we're not talking about all Nazi socialist parties or anything like that. We're talking about modern socialism, democracy, that with rights that it should be for everybody. Including climate justice, of course, and racial justice for everybody. I 
And as I said, we are in Columbus Circle in Central Park, uh, southwest corner, and we're about to run into the, into the front of the march to keep you updated on where we are right now. So here we go. We are marching towards the east side of the park, towards in the south, so we're marching towards 5th Avenue, most likely, in case you want to join us. Now we are in the part of the march that is Black Trans Queer Lives Matter movement. Historic moments, historic images, and different movements, organizations marching, celebrating the results. And now it seems that this right here, we have. Right here, we have Fight for Mass Socialist Party as well done in our march. In
Central Park if you want to join us, join the march. The energy is just spectacular. Everybody's so happy celebrating the results. And as we know that there is a lot of work to be done to end for the country to move towards the right direction after this results today we celebrate today we come together all of these movements and organizations all of the people of new york city heavy heavy police presence of course Hello, Citizen Rebellion of Uganda. We're here in New York City celebrating the results of what democracy looks like. Keep moving. We got a whole lot of folks coming along all the way. Thank you. So right now we're in New York City, 54 and 7th as we continue our march. All sorts of coalitions, movements, celebrating the results. Keep moving while you're taking the shot. Got to keep moving we'll while you're taking the shot. We'll and uh, I'll post another shot because we got to line up again. Okay. So we have one of our marshals from Extinction Rebellion right there. <laughs> there is going to be another opportunity for a lineup to get you a good shot of everything. And right now we are going away from Central Park into the streets of New York celebrating the results. I think you can observe the immensity of this march. This is where we get everybody stopping. Serving historical images as today we celebrate the end of this fascist on the White House. Heavy police presence, as you can see. continue our march here in New York City. As they chanted once and again, this is what democracy looks like. We're celebrating a moment of democracy. We're currently passing 50, 52nd Street and 7th Avenue here in New York City as we continue our New York City celebration results march.
So we're all excited today. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. in our march we're in front of St. Patrick's Church but to cross it as we, as we get ask the people of New York to join us in this march this is what democracy looks like watching in you're in New York and you want to join us we're in Fifth Avenue and 50th Street right in front of St. Patrick's Cathedral Come 
large historic images today as we celebrate the new president elect Biden and of course Vice President Harris. Everybody's so excited. The energy is just amazing. New York City, you can join us anytime. All non violent, all happy, all excitement, all just celebrating what our democracy looks like. I can see one of our marshals right here in front of us from Extinction Rebellion. He said most of the marshals are from different organizations united to protect the crowd, to protect the march. We have bike marshals. Oh, <laughs> See it right there. They're going down so we can take good shots. Because this is a historic moment. These are historic photos that 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 people are are, are taking right now. Of this march in New York City. So we continue our march. We started in Columbus Circle, and then we're marching all through New York City, now passing through the Rockefeller Center, here in Fifth Avenue and 49th Street. So we continue our celebration of what democracy looks like. Our messaging that even though there is a lot of work ahead of us towards moving the country in the right direction, we celebrate today. We celebrate today because America's people have voted and they have said that they want climate justice, they want racial justice, that they want a future for our kids, grandkids, for next generations. I've seen everybody in Fifth Avenue reporting, seeing the march, Everybody in New York outside celebrating, celebrating the results. Kamala Harris, Joe Biden. celebrate today. Those are beeps of excitement, beeps of happiness. As we celebrate this amazing day. <laughs> you can 
see in the back, back there, the Empire State Building. Such an American icon. It's such an American day right now. As, as people have let their voice be heard. And as they say, enough is enough of this administration. Celebration, happy celebration. New York City. Closer towards the direction this country needs to go to tackle subjects as racial and climate justice, social justice. West 44th Street and 5th Avenue here in New York City. In case you are in New York and want to join us, the march is just getting bigger and bigger. As you can see, completely Pacific, completely emotional, like in a good way. We were so patient in the last few days. I'm sure most of us were checking the news over and over, or just with our head right on the TV sets. And until this morning, seeing that they finally projected Biden and Harris to president-elect and vice president-elect, immediately everybody in New York City, right in my neighborhood, I live in Brooklyn, everybody came out to the streets with like pens and, and, and they were just celebrating, they were honking, they were like, it was amazing to see this energy of the people of the neighborhood around and now seeing the same thing all around New York City, all around these organizations, it just brings you hope. It brings you, as I say, it brings you hope to her. Look at the doggy, like, 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 I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. of all different organizations, different coalitions, including Extinction Rebellion. Uh, what group are you on? I would protect the results. Protect the results. As you can see, we have different organizations and movements with us today. I'm Danny Graxon. I'm the social media coordinator for Extinction Rebellion. And uh, just look for me if you want to help with us. Help, help us. We need more live streamers. We need more people to help us bring this to you and to get this to be a better and better experience for you at home. We are currently in 42nd Street and 5th Avenue. Place we've met the Sinsu Rebellion many times, of you know. Last year we had a university rebel right here, where the universities of New York City said no more towards the government position on climate change and climate justice. Follow many actions last year on the 
October Rebellion. And furthermore, one year later, we're right here celebrating this huge milestone, important step. All our media is back here behind the marshals. They really encourage us to stay in front of them. So that's why she's taking me for the respect in the line as I'm staying ahead of them. So as I said, we're right here in this spot. Very iconic spot for Extinction Rebellion. The New York Public Library. Let's see what this marsh looks like from the stairs of the New York Library. Get you there. You can, you, can, you can see how huge this march is, how amazing that the energy that you're feeling. So sorry. See the amount of people that are joining us on this march? Very exciting day. You can see the march continues on. We're right in front of the New York Public Library in West 41th Street and Fifth Avenue as we continue celebrating. Celebrating these results. And then the current administration time is over. This is what democracy looks like. The people of the United States have voted, have voted for racial justice, for climate justice, for social justices. And right here we're celebrating that. What was going to be a march to protest and to protect the vote, to protect the results, has become a march to celebrate these results. democracy wins and this even though we have a lot of work ahead of us to move the country in the right direction today we celebrate today we unite with many organizations many groups and coalitions including extinction rebellion of course to celebrate this step into moving the country in the right direction Okay, so I'm gonna try to get you now to the front of the march. Let's do this.
here we're finding more Chinese rebellion. As I said, they're all over, scattered across the, the multitude. Celebrating. You can write it on the comments. We actually have online support right now. So if you make a comment and we have Extinction Rebellion, people ready to respond and to talk to you. As we try to get better and better at our live stream, our process here to bring you what's happening, what's really happening out in these marches, in these protests, in these events. So live from New York, we are currently Fifth Avenue. And 37th Street. And in the west, we have the Empire State Building. As we continue our march, Hopefully you don't show up sometimes with my 
movements. I try to be as smooth as possible. care of our crowds, of our march, both sides, marshals and bicycles, and marshals come from all of the different organizations, and their mission is to keep everything safe for everybody. So 
thank you for your work. It's really tough work. To stay ahead, to stay always vigilant. I mean, you gotta be vigilant continuously. Not only we have that, we got medics. We got the escalators. Just in case, even though this is all a non-violent celebration here in New York City of democracy actually working here. We are currently crossing 30th Street, 5th Avenue. If you're in New York, you can join us. We just passed the Empire State Building. of many different movements and organizations, not just Citizen Rebellion, celebrating and people. Step this up each time. justice, for racial justice, for social justice, and for our future. Four more years of this administration, and it would have been terrible for our futures, for our climate, for our people, for our rights. You can feel the energy. You can feel it's just contagious.
towards the flight iron building. I guess we're coming into Chelsea in New York City. As we are 27th Street, 5th Avenue, and keep going on this march, celebratory march. Poor doggies, doggies are like, what the heck is going on? I guess you, they can sense the emotion though and the happiness. <laughs> but they're kind of tired, some of them. <laughs> Here's one. from everywhere, in the buildings and everything, chanting. It's just intoxicating like this energy. celebration where we celebrate our results, these results and the end of this administration. So we're right next to Madison Square Park in New York City, coming closer into Flatiron Building. I do not know whether we're going to turn here or not, but they're stopping right now in 26th Street and 5th Avenue. Square Park as the park begins to go through.
you're seeing is historic images, a historic moment. Thank you, Valentina. Yes, we're all here, all among the crowd.
myself.
join our efforts, join an organization. The teaching is going to be right here. Thank you. And if we keep fighting, we'll win so much more than a presidency. We'll win the world we need. We need to win a world where student debt is eliminated. We need... I want all of us to shut down every immigration detention center in this country. Yes! Terrible. Check. Can you guys hear me all right? First off, make some make some noise for yourself for being out here in the streets.
You gotta be there, you gotta bring people there. You stepped out into the streets today and met with others. Now it's time to bring even more people out. You gotta get in the streets and stay in the streets to drive Trump and Pence out. Trump, Pence, out now! Trump, Pence, out now!
Okay, everybody, this concludes the Extinction Rebellion New York City live stream. Thank you for joining us today. In New York City, as you saw, we marched all the way from Columbus Circle, all the way here to uh, Madison Square Park. And um, it was such an amazing thing. It was like a lot of energy from everybody. And um, thank you for joining us today. I'll see you in next March in the next event of Extinction Rebellion. Goodbye.